I couldn't even tell you where Serbia was on a map. Full of like cobblestone little streets, full of like little wine bars. Where are those Serbian hipsters? Can you be more like? I mean, how am I supposed to not buy this? <laughs> Guys, we're walking into an old Roman well. This is terrifying. <gasps> if you're looking for the vibes, they're in Belgrade. Hey gang, welcome to beautiful sunny Belgrade. This time we're gonna do something a little different. Welcome to What Doesn't Suck. This is 24 hours in Serbia. Who are we? What doesn't suck? What do we know about Serbia? Nothing! <laughs> so you know that normally we go places we know nothing about, but I couldn't even tell you where Serbia was on a map. But that's why we're here. Less than a six hour flight from Dubai. It's direct from Fly Dubai, and you're arriving back great. Now we're in this really amazing city. It has this really cool European vibe, which I was not expecting at all. Belgrade, what? In the middle of the city of Belgrade, there's this park. It looks like literally Serbian Central Park. So it looks like we've got the Cyrillic alphabet. Do they speak Serbian here? I have no idea. We are really gonna have to do some research. It is two o'clock on Wednesday afternoon. We have until 2.30 tomorrow before we're on a flight back to Dubai. This is the shortest time we've ever had to film a video and there is so much we have to see. Belgrade, Serbia, two people, 24 hours. Let's do it. You know, sometimes all you want to do in a weekend is not necessarily to run everywhere, to explore everything. It's just to arrive in a nice place, relax, and really just enjoy. And I think for that, Belgrade is the place to be. Is this a good look for me, love? No. <laughs> this is Jeff pretending he knows what we're going to do. I can't read, guys. Honestly, no <laughs> idea what it says. Guys, we're walking into an old Roman well from 1720. This is terrifying. If you never see us again, we've enjoyed it. Look oh, over. No. Look. Oh, no, no, no. <gasps> oh, no. I can't. It's terrifying. Who needs that? Wasn't expecting that. 60 minute well in the middle of the Belgrade fortress in the middle of downtown. Don't know what we'll find next. Oi. Cool backpack, bruh. Backpack. I know nothing about the Balkans, so for us to end up in Serbia and be able to explore is the dream. This is actually the military museum, which is open air. You can just go and check out the tanks. <laughs> Unfortunately, Serbia has a very turbulent past, but it is amazing to see a country bounce back so quickly and be as vibrant as the city that we're in today. Did you know Serbia is one of the youngest countries in the entire world, only 12 years old? Oh, okay. <laughs> I fear for our wallets. We've just hit the trifecta, H&M, Aldo, and Zara. Let's hope she doesn't see it. H&M, love. Uh, All right, we found your clothes. We can leave now. I mean, how am I supposed to not buy this? <laughs> okay, I've left Anne by herself, but I have the wallet. Anne found a sweatshirt she couldn't live without within five seconds. Guys, you don't understand. I haven't bought any clothes for seven months, <laughs> and I just needed it. This is the most beautiful weather we have seen in months. Fall leaves, cool crisp air, but hot in the sun. Perfect for a weekend getaway. You know, love, you are right. There are vibes everywhere. Told you it's vibey, yeah? <laughs> if you're looking for the vibes, they're in Belgrade. I bet there's a really vibey rooftop bar we can go find. Yeah. Where are those Serbian hipsters? <laughs> okay, be honest with me, guys. Is it a well-known fact that Serbia is like really cool? Or is this truly the hidden gem of Europe? I'm serious. Oh, surprise, we're lost again. Well, so we were here. We we're supposed to go here. Instead, we went here. The Cyrillic alphabet can be kind of intimidating, but everybody speaks English here, and on top of that, everybody's super friendly. This city is cheap, guys. I'm talking $2 drinks, $10 lunches, and it's high quality. Everything's really nice and clean. I really love that every block in Belgrade has a different vibe, different outdoor cafes, different shops, and there's live music absolutely everywhere. It makes it feel so much more vibrant. How cool is it that Nikola Tesla's on the $100 bill? What have you found? I love this one. The sun is starting to go down. We are in search of the number one rooftop bar in Belgrade. We've heard amazing things about this place called Mama's Shelter. <laughs> we found it guys, ultimate spot, early 90s hip hop, cool huge light bulb, you can't get more hipster than this. I love that there's an Arabic vibe here, there's lebna and halloumi and hummus on the menu everywhere. Iced tea, sunset and vibes. Oh nice sweatshirt love. Oh thanks! <laughs> Crunchy! It makes me happy. <laughs> Incredible. We made it to Skada Lija, which is the Bohemian Quarter, and guys, it really lives up to its name. 
Belgrade is the perfect mix of old and new mixed all together. It's so cool. Full of like cobblestone little streets, full of like little wine bars. There's such a cool vibe. I'm sorry, I keep saying that, but it's just so true. Oh, that was incredible. Time to go home. I'm in a meat coma. See you tomorrow. We had an amazing dinner in the Bohemian neighborhood of Belgrade, Serbia. Now it's time for us to go to bed because we are old people. And good morning, gang. The sun is just coming up here in Belgrade. We only have six hours before our flight back to Dubai, so we're up early for a run. Oh, the weather's absolutely perfect. There is nobody in this park, which is amazing. And we learned yesterday that one-fifth of all Roman emperors were born here in Serbia. How cool is that? The best thing ever. I'm so happy. <laughs> Look how beautiful this is. Oh, no, no, I can't get it much again. Don't cry. <laughs> Don't do this. We've done this. You know that Ann and I are always trying to save money. This entire trip, we've spent no money on alcohol, buses, Ubers, or taxis. That's how you save money on a weekend trip. I'm gonna call it right now. I think this is our official 2019 hidden gem. I would agree with that. All right, love, three words to describe Belgrade. Uh, young, vibrant, and modern. I was gonna say vibe AF, so that works. Vibe AF, totally. I know what that totes, means, because I'm like 18, totes, so totes, don't worry about totes. it. Cool, 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 twerk. <laughs> Welcome to the Botanical Garden. So I just realized that the fact that I got excited about a botanical garden must mean that in fact I am a hundred years old. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> There's no one here as well, so we can like just breathe, look at the trees. Hola, did you take a close-up of that rose? Yes. Of course you did. <laughs> it's beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh yeah. Okay, I make fun, but it's actually really cool. We've gone through the bamboo forest. I think it means we're in Narnia now. Well, we found Jeff cactus. <laughs> Does that remind you of anything? <laughs> it's so small. Love. Don't cry because the tree's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Probably the primoiest place ever to meditate in the Japanese Zen garden. Now we're on our way to a must-see spot in Belgrade. So I purposefully did not look up anything about Nikola Tesla. I have no idea who he is. I just know he's a cool scientist. So what did I learn? I'm an idiot. I didn't really know about him before uh, coming here. So I'm really happy we got to do that. So educate yourself, go there. I think this guy invented Wi-Fi like 150 years ago. Two things that I really also love about Belgrade is that it's very clean and it's very safe. And you know, we always felt safe in every neighborhood at any time of the day or night. And we're now going back to our hotel to grab a taxi to the airport. We have 90 minutes before we have to be at the airport. We're crazy people. I mean, seriously, I didn't know what to expect, but street after street, I'm impressed by the city. Half of my time on this earth is watching and look at sunglasses. Nice. <laughs> we love exploring cities on foot and we've walked an astonishing 26 kilometers in the last 24 hours. A great way to see such a cool city and save a ton of cash. Serbia has been a complete surprise guys. We've done so much in just 24 hours and we genuinely want to come back. So if we can do all this in just 24 hours? Imagine what you can do in a week. 